Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how we make a function block like a CTD counter block similar to the one we use in Siemens TIA portal. First let's create a new project. Then to make a function block we right click on program and add new data then choose function block. I will first add my labels. We will need three input, two output, one word label, and one constant label that should always be true. Now that our labels are done we can go to the program and make some programming. This is the code needed for a CTD counter block. Now let's compile it and go to the main program block. I will now add the function block to my main program. Just drag the function block in. I will add a memory bit to my countdown and reset input. And to my preset value input an application instruction with a value for how much the block should count down for. On the output I will use Y2 on the PLC. And on CV I will just add a tag that can keep track of the counted value. Let's download the program and test it out. The block will start at the preset value and count down each time our CD input gets triggered and will do so until it reaches its preset value we given it. Once it counted down to zero the output will turn on. If we trigger the reset bit, the value will go back to its preset value. I will now add one more block and give them different preset value and another output on the PLC. Let's download and test this out.
As you can see they turn on depending on which preset value we given them. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.